Hi everyone. Um, we're back. Uh, we've had two toddlers here for um, a little while and my niece had a baby so I kept her children. She had an 11 pound one ounce baby boy. Um, but we took the kids home yesterday. Um, so I want to tell you where I've been. I appreciate all the wonderful emails I've gotten. Thank everyone. I, I thank everyone who did that. Now, I'm here to talk about something called faith. That word invented in the 15th century, which took your power away because it said, trust in something else instead of yourself and you'll be saved. It's not a very good word in a way. Although it sounds beautiful and everything else, it has a double meaning. It takes your power away from you. Um, for you to be responsible, it makes you inactive because now you have someone to come save you. This word wasn't at the beginning of um, religious doctrines. It came about in the 15th century. Faith, that word. 15th century made you very inactive, makes everyone very inactive. I have no faith in anyone. Not the government, not religious doctrines. Um, I, I would get into Christianity, but I don't really understand Christianity. I was in an Indian school. Um, they tried to beat this crap into me. I was in two of them, as a matter of fact. Um, and the more they beat, the more you turn away. Um, but I, I, I successfully did one good thing right in the religious schools, and I turned a Monsignor away from the Catholic Church. And he went about his business, and he actually married a lovely lady in India. But that's a long story, and that's really not what I'm here to talk about. It's just the word itself is a psyop. It's a 15th century psyop for in, in action. What you need to do is start trusting your fellow man and learning from your experiences. Um, the Creator or God or whatever you believe in put us here for a reason and it wasn't to hate one another and it definitely wasn't to worry about it an apocalyptic moment because I'm going to leave Lobo Texans video below. Um, I totally agree with that. Um, I have a wonderful book on Christianity. It actually um, states in the 7th century because the people, the Christians that had grouped together, and see, you really don't hear about this in, in the doctrines that I've read or had to read. And from what the people I see on YouTube say, they're just pretty much, this is the end of days. How do you know? What, because a book told you? I mean, is this the kind of God you live under? A lot of blood sacrifices? Um, I have something, somebody left this on a discussion page. I thought they were trying to save me. But it's rather interesting. Um, I'm, I'm going to leave it below this video. Um, I, don't, don't try to save me, and no one, because I feel like I can only save myself. And, and it would be by actions. And I know I'm probably not going to the magical heaven. I, I know where I'm going. I'm Native American. I'm very grounded in that, and you cannot change me from that. And it's personal, and I don't want you to try to believe like me. And I don't think the creator of all of us would want this. They would want our individual qualities to come out to help one another in humanity. Instead of this division and fanatical stuff that's going on all based on faith and trust in something that you have no proof of, and that is in the de definition of faith. I will leave that. Um, but it's just like having faith in your government. Do you have faith in your government? If you have faith in your government, you're giving your power away and saying they can handle it. They can keep me safe. They can do this. Um, just like with religious texts and, and deities and peoples. If, if you have faith that someone's going to come save you and the apocalypse is upon us, then you are not going to do anything because you don't have to. Faith is a psyop word made in the 15th century. I'm going to leave the definitions below. I'm not trying to offend anybody. I just want to see people get active and stop waiting for someone to come in and swoop down and save you. Because I believe if I was a god, which I'm not, that I would hate to see people that I put in charge of a beautiful planet, the earth, first destroy it and not take any, let, let other people destroy it, and all the other people sit around and say, well, we'll just wait for that person who created us to come and fix things because I just don't think that's the way it works. I think we, 
are supposed to be responsible here and take care of things. And we're not doing a very good job when we're relying on something divine happening. As far as ice on and all these other things, which I haven't been on YouTube, so I don't really know what's going on. We don't have a TV. Um, I did have to watch some Disney movies while these kids were here. Oh, my. Um, children should not be exposed to that. And I actually told my niece, that, ah, you got to get rid of the movies. Um, but I, I just want to say, that word faith, it was a psyop word. It wasn't around before the 15th century. So um, just remember that. It took your power away to of action and put it into something that you don't know what even what it is for inaction. And we need to get active. We need to learn to trust humanity, us as a peoples, and start being responsible and hold those who are destroying us accountable and get rid of that word faith. That word faith is very deceptive. And... Um, I, I was reading, somebody left me something, um, it, it seems to be a religious nature of Bible quotes. Uh, I, I don't know if they're trying to say it's, um, if they're trying, I don't know what they're exactly they're trying to say, I'm leaving it up. Um, it seems they talked a lot about the blood and the history in it. Um, it's pretty interesting. I'm going to actually leave it below, you can, I'll leave my channel below too, you can go read it. Um, but I'm not, I, mean, I don't follow the Bible, so I have to follow my intuition and, and the signs I read around me. I'm a very, I, I don't think I'm a bad person at all. Um, and, and if I've been misguided, that's my journey. And I have to go by the knowledge I receive through my experiences. And I don't put faith, I don't even put faith in people. Because when it all boils down to my day of death and when... I go wherever I go. I have to look, die by myself. <coughs> Pardon me. And it's all on me. It's not on anybody else. So that faith word just kind of flies out the window the moment you die. So just remember, just read the link and when it was created. 15th century. It's just a Merriam-Webster's definition, not Wikipedia. Just go read the definition and try to get away from that. And try to get active and stop thinking somebody's going to save us. And I don't believe for one minute we're in apocalyptic days. And I don't believe Ison's going to destroy us. And it's not the Hopi prophecies. Um, if, the, if the comet does destroy us, well, it just happens. Things happen. I just don't think that's what it is. But you know what? Start respecting everyone else. Put differences aside. I'm not putting down Christians. I just want you to get active and participate in humanity. And um, I know that a lot of people are celebrating holidays or holy days this time of year. I don't. It's a personal choice. I'm not putting anybody down who does. Um, but uh, it's, it's my personal choice. I'm not actually going to pay money and buy stuff from China, slave those people who slave away making stuff for, and spend money I don't have because I don't have. I, we're poor here. I mean, what we'll do is try to help the poor eat. We usually give eggs and stuff to the food bank, but we're, we're just as poor as the next person, so no, we don't participate in gifts. As far as Christmas lights go, I've always bought them the little LEDs, and they're around all year round, so I guess we probably look festive this time of year, but it's for a more practical electrical bill thing. Anyway, I just wanted to clue you in on the word faith, and everybody stop relying on someone else to save you and start trust, trusting in your own self. And, and take your power back so you can move forward so we maybe can save humanity and clean up this dirty mess with these corporations and these ones who think they're in charge. And you're allowing them to, to actually be in charge by in action and trusting in something called faith. And that is just completely in action. It wasn't in your original... A lot of you are um, in here in America believe in this Christian way of life, but it wasn't in the original doctrines. It didn't come about until the 15th century. Go look at the link. It's just a simple link. And I love you all. Please take no offense by this, but I, I just want people to get active and participate and get empathy and get away from this apathetic doomsday scenarios because it isn't all about doomsday. We Doomsday's been happening forever if you go back and look. 
I mean, every day is a doomsday for somebody. So let's start living and helping and loving and try to take back our power, try to get rid of this corrupt system. And we could do it if we didn't have to believe that someone's going to come and save us from all this because they're not. They haven't. When they were burning people at the stake, nobody came and saved them. When they were boiling women for being witches, nobody saved them. I mean, these are midwives, for God's sakes. So let's just let's just try to get rid of some of these words that are sops. I love you guys. I'm babbling. I'm glad to be back. I missed all of you. Um, please take no offense by this, but I thought you should know. Faith is an inaction word, and we need to get rid of all the inaction words. Peace, love, truth. <laughs>